Hey y'all, welcome in to the channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. This is going to be your read for Wednesday, The Stage Room. All right, guys, let's get it. Um, In The Stage Room, okay, The Stage Room, this is going to be the element of fire, okay? The Stage Room. Here... Um, Aries, Aries, very significant. Aries energy, the stage room. Here in the stage room, you guys don't have to be in Aries to connect, okay? But we're going to bring the messages. We're going to pick it up where we left off with the sacred knowledge of the 13 rooms, okay? Um, if this message has found you guys, it wasn't a mistake, and I hope it finds you guys doing absolutely great, okay? Um, let's get it. The stage room, you guys. Here is where you are viewed by your peers, okay? So this room actually has a very heavy connection to the room of court, okay? Which is um, the first room that we began to talk about within this series or segment, okay? Or collection, rather, all right? So the stage room, you guys, is where you're view viewed by your peers and you connect with your soul tribe, okay? So others that are like-minded as you um, others that have joined forces with you, others that um, battle with you on the battlefield um, against opposition, um, others of you that have the same belief system, others of you that are in the same bloodline, okay, but on the same team, because sometimes you can be in the same bloodline and be fighting your own bloodline members. Um, but these are people who know that you guys are a part of a team, a tribe, um, you see yourself in them, they see themselves in you, and most importantly, you all see the God in everything, okay? This is where you guys commute, commune, okay? Um, here in the realm of the stage realm, you guys may have seen or noticed yourselves be on a stage before, okay? Um, and being on this stage, in the stage realm, usually means that you're being honored in some type of way, recognized, um, or upheld in something, okay? Um, in the stage room, this is the location where different ceremony and proceedings take place, like graduations, um, when you guys have completed cycles successfully, when you guys are, um, if you see the world card, when you guys are moving to new, new, uh, new chapters, okay? Um, this is where carnations take place, okay? If you guys are being honored, um, this is the energy of where the jubilees would take place. And this is all we're talking um, cosmic energy, cosmic ceremonies, cosmic proceedings, cosmic graduations, cosmic carnations, cosmic, cosmic jubilees, okay? You may have even been robed before. I've been robed about three times, three or four times. Um, and this is the realm that it happened in, okay? The most recent robing that I took place in was being robed um, with a white robe, okay? Um, you guys may have been crowned before. This is where your cosmic crowning happens, okay, you guys? Um, so in this space, you guys were also um, able to declare your rankings and your positions. This is where that matters, okay? So in the realm of the stage realm, your rankings is very, very important. Um, and your position is very important. Your stance, how you feel about different paradigms or different processes or different theologies, okay? Your faith at this time, you guys, you could have recently gone through a time or it could still presently be going on where your faith is being tested, okay? Anytime you guys feel like your faith is being tested, being that you're a part of this stage realm, you guys, um, they're advising that you tap into or enter the realm um, of the temples, okay? We'll get into that at a later time, but it, they want you to visit the Temple of Black Obsidian in particular, okay? Now, um, I talked about this a little bit in an earlier reading where I said that um, I, I saw a coiled snake be eaten by something in the water, okay? And um, this all occurred while I was on a boat, okay? Um, I received all of these visions in the Black Obsidian Temple. So the stage realm, the court realm, and the temple realm all connect, okay? Um, 
I was saying, oh, it was the reading where I was saying they tried to shun you. Okay. So check out that reading. I think it was a short and sweet. Okay. Um, if you're resonating with this read, you'll want to tap into that read because there's a message there for you. Okay. Or I probably guided you to tap into this reading because there would be a message. So if you, if you did welcome, <laughs> um, now in this energy, your higher self reflection, um, can be seen as very bright colored or golden in color, golden light. Okay. Um, but what they want you to know within the stage realm is that others are able to see this aura this reflection and right now what others are noticing about you is that your aura has grown in size and intensity okay so the stage realm message for you guys is that your aura is seen by others and it has grown in size and intensity okay now um your inner child wants you to know within this realm that you guys have the power over seven scorpions, okay? So whatever it is you're facing, you will be able to conjure the low vibrational force and you will be able to um, return to a state of peace, okay? Okay, um, so... For some of you guys, you could have felt orphaned, okay? Or you could have felt like out in the cold or like, you know, you the struggle was real or something like that, okay? Um, they want you to know in the stage room that this was due to false pretenses or and or earthly circumstances, okay? Um, once you guys make peace with the fact that the pretense or circumstance was temporary or false, Okay, um, the impeded feelings that came along with that will be relieved from you all. Okay, so they're wanting you to find some relief within the stage room. Okay, they were in alignment. Um, these these pretenses, false pretenses, or circumstances were in alignment with a a worse outcome situation. So maybe there was some realigning work that you guys may have recently done where you got back in alignment with what was really true, okay? And uh, realigned with your higher self. This is where this realignment energy can take place within the stage realm as well, okay? At this point, um, you guys are reflecting or per, per, your reflection is shown or revealed as a star, okay? All right. Um, so they want you to know within the stage room that at this time, you guys are going to be receiving a leg up. Okay. Osiris rises energy. So that is what I have for you guys from the stage room as the message on today. Okay. Um, a lot happens in this space, a lot of sacred ceremony energy, like I said, proceedings, cosmic proceedings, graduations, a lot with recognition. So if you see the six of wands energy out there in the tarot, and you know that it's your energy, then you want, they want you to know that you are connecting at this time um, with that realm, with the realm, with the realm of the stage. Okay. All right, you guys, this has been your read. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you guys over in Thursday's read. Have a great day.